Brick Addicts, Lego lovers, ladies and gentlemen, and friends from all over the world. Today, we sticker the Taco Bell. Okay, so if any of you saw the uh, video stickering the McDonald's, you would have known that me and my good friends took a flight overseas, and wouldn't you have it, we just returned. So, today, from right to left, we get Daryl from Bevan's Bricks, Brad Nebbin from Animated Brick Builders, The Wild Man Zabadak, me, Brick Addict, and our new buddy, Dr. McBrick. And they're gonna watch me as I sticker the Taco Bell set. Do we got any Taco Bell stickers? There we go, Taco Bell. If you ever saw the uh, video of me uh, stickering the McDonald's, that was the first. So luckily today we're doing the Taco Bell, which of course is a set that I stickered a couple times. In fact, I was one of the designers on this set. So I kind of have a good idea where the stickers go. Okay, that'll start looking better in just a second as we get a little more into it. Once everything starts kind of fitting together, I always love the look of this. You know, when we were designing this set, we couldn't decide whether to go with one of the, uh, the newer looks or, you know, the really old look or this look or what. But as life would have it, I used to paint these buildings, and during the uh, time frame I was painting Taco Bells, this is the color we used. So uh, we did a lot of the uh, purple back then, which is called Ox Blood, and then of course did this color as well, which I can't remember the name right offhand, but there was some kind of Sherwin Williams name for this. And uh, I have done many, many of these in this color. This was a no-brainer doing this version of the Taco Bell. And uh, it's been a while since I've done this, but I can tell you that the open late sign probably goes... Got to kind of be creative when putting stickers on. As long as they're straight, that's the important thing. Even though this one is going to be sort of hidden by a shrub, which, oddly enough... I used to plant shrubs at Taco Bell's as well. I loved it, actually. Having a little bit of trouble, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off. Sometimes it's just best to do that. Okay, I think I got it, so as long as we stay perfect at the top. So we'll keep that off for now. All right, and then we try to get uh, about the same distance from the top with this one as well. And it's pretty close. And then those go right back on there. Starts bringing the uh, Taco Bell to life. And we'll go to the side. And of course the side gets a Cool Ranch sticker. These stickers are a little difficult to, uh, to get straight actually. So one right there. And we also need to put one of these stickers behind this shrub. And this one is the uh, Dorito Locos Tacos. Taco Loco. I don't know if any of you remember years ago when uh, Taco Bell was selling the uh, Taco Locos. They were uh, ice cream bars. They are pretty good too. Drive through sign. Nine foot, don't ring your bell on this. And there you go. Most cars fit through there with no problem. Now we go to the inside. And uh, the inside is quite detailed. One of my contributions to this set is the, uh, these, all these bottles right here. I was very adamant about having the sauce bottles in these. All right, so these are easy. Is they color coordinated? They go on these uh, cylindrical shaped pieces. And so if we printed these, 
completely straight, the problem would be that they would not look good after they were applied. So since we print them the way we do, they follow the contour of the part. Same thing with this, just kind of line it up and voila, there you go. Follows the contour because of the way the sticker was designed and cut. This here's fire sauce. But this here's mild. This one here is verde. Never had verde. All right, so there's the sauces right there. And of course there's the trash can. So these sit very nicely over the trash can. The majority of our sets have a restaurant sticker on the inside and outside. Of course, the front of this just has the bell and the, uh, where it says Taco Bell. Pop these out. We'll just pop that one right here. All the cash registers are identical. And these are screenshots of Taco Bell register. Of course, the third register is for the drive through. Goes right like that. You cannot have a restaurant without a menu board, can you? So, time for the menu board. Perfect example of how I get sticker ink all over my hands. Okay, there's that one. So, now we want to add stickers to this area. So we'll pop that out. Easiest way to do that. To go on the cylindrical cup. And the purpose of this is to give it the look as it's sitting on the counter in the stack of cups. Of course, if they were drinking it, it would be like that. Go right there. This cup here gets the sticker right here, which says Mountain Dew. So there's that one. It's coming together. Okay, so there we go. So it's actually a make line right here that goes just like that. And then this right here is representing looks like maybe some burritos getting ready to go out i hope you enjoyed this video stickering the uh, taco bell set we do appreciate you watching today and uh, me and my friends are very very glad to be back from the airport it's also been nice hanging out with dr mcbrick if you haven't subscribed to our channel please smash that button below smash that like button also if you like what you've seen if you like the video if you were into behind the scenes vlogs and stuff like that click right there and if you're into awesome lego details like this and custom stuff more detailed than this click right there we will all see you in the next video